You have reserved your dates for your next vacation in Paris. Now, it remains to be seen where you will be staying. Finding the right hotel for your stay in Paris is not necessarily easy. In which neighborhood should you stay? In a chain hotel? Or a boutique hotel? Or even an Airbnb? It's overwhelming. As a Parisian, I have some knowledge to make things easier for you. In one of my previous videos, I introduced you to the top 10 best hotels with a view of the Eiffel Tower, emphasizing my three favorites. For this video, I took my pilgrim stick and my pyjamas too, and went to spend a night in three hotels, in three of the best areas to stay when you're in Paris. They are the best hotels in the best places, and I thought they would be the most perfect for the subscribers of my Paris Top Tips channel. You follow me? Oh yes, I almost forgot. In one of these three hotels, don't forget your bathing suits. Hotel du Danube is in Saint-Germain-des-Prés. The Saint-Germain-des-Prés neighborhood is one of the most chic on the left bank of Paris. Situated in the 6th arrondissement, Saint-Germain, as it's colloquially called, is filled with upscale shops, fine dining restaurants, and Paris' oldest church, the 11th century Église de Saint-Germain-des-Prés. From the Hotel du Danube, you are only a 9-minute walk from the Louvre Pyramid, 12 minutes from the Luxembourg Gardens, and quarter an hour from the Saint-Chapelle. The Hotel du Danube is a three-star hotel with 40 rooms divided into classic, superior, deluxe and prestige rooms. What I like about boutique hotels is that we are often far from the uniform and sanitized rooms of chain hotels. This is a 20 square meters deluxe room. It comes with a queen size bed or two twin beds. Depending on the season, the price of the deluxe room varies between 250 and 350 euro. And if that seems too high for you, the classic and superior rooms are between 90 and 50 euro cheaper. The double glazing allows you to be completely isolated from street noise. And of course, the bedroom is air conditioned to withstand the increasingly hot Parisian summers. The bathroom is rather small but well equipped with, among other things, the excellent products of the L'Occitan brand. and the toilet is in a separate room. The hotel also offers prestige rooms, which are even larger and have a separate shower and bathtub in the bathroom. The price of the prestige room is about 25 euro more expensive than that of the deluxe room. At the end of the small patio is the breakfast room. But in the summer, you can also have your breakfast here, if you will. The breakfast, at 13 euro per person, is a mix between buffet style and cooked to order. I really like the Hotel du Danube and I think it's a great choice in the Saint-Germain-des-Prés neighborhood. The second of our hotels, Villa Beaumarchais, is located in the magnificent Marais district. Straddling the third and the fourth arrondissement, this neighborhood is full of small crooked medieval lanes alive with bars, restaurants, hotels, fashion boutiques and trendy shops but also home to maybe the most beautiful square in Paris, the Place des Vosges. And 
just next to the Place des Vosges, the splendid Hotel de Sully. Villa Beaumarchais is a four-star hotel nestled in a rare calm street in the Marais. What's very special at Villa Beaumarchais is its glassed-over interior garden, surrounded by fountains and greenery and overlooked by the expensive luminous sunlight. Our room, number 309, was a standard room with a double bed. The price for this room goes from 160 euro in low season to 275 euro in high season. Yet located in one of the liveliest districts of Paris, the hotel is remarkably quiet since all its rooms overlook the interior courtyard. Courtyard where we are being served a yummy breakfast. Located right next to the superb building of the Opéra Comique, the Saint-Marc Hotel is one of the best-ranked hotels on TripAdvisor, 9th out of 2,000 hotels in Paris. You can't get more central than this hotel. From there, you are only a 5-minute walk to the Galerie Lafayette, 8 minutes to the Opéra Garnier, and 15 minutes to the Louvre. Even though the hotel is less than 200 meters from the excitement of the Grand Boulevard at Richelieu Drouot metro station, these two streets are very quiet. This is a very nice patio for the bar and the breakfast. Here are the prices that are displayed at the reception. But in fact, they can be much more interesting. A superior room can start at 250 euro. Our room was one of those superior rooms. Air conditioning, very practical when it's very hot in Paris in the summer. And you have it in the bathroom too. At any time during the day, you can find for free on the ground floor a whole lot of things to nibble that you can bring back to your room. The view from our room was on the Opéra Comique. Double glazing windows make sure you don't hear any noise from the street. Small but convenient, the bathroom had a great rain shower.
I didn't know this brand, but the products from Grown Alchemist are of super quality. After a long day walking the streets of Paris, what could be better than reserving the spa for free, for an hour, just for you? And yes, there is even a swimming pool, admittedly small, but so pleasant. In the pool, several options are at your disposal. Massage jet, countercurrent swimming, jacuzzi, and even changing lighting. And there is a nice hammam too. In the morning, breakfast for 25 euro offers you a wide choice of food that you can eat on the patio if you wish. This video is coming to an end. These three hotels, located in three of the best areas of the city, offer, in my opinion, the best choice for a successful vacation. I hope you liked this video. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel.